official television station of Illini Sports. This is WCIA 3 Sports and your Illini Nation. The financial toll of COVID-19 will be felt by athletic departments across the country for years to come. Illinois Athletic Director Josh Whitman estimates the Illini will lose $20 plus million plus this fiscal year, but that number could be substantially higher if football or men's basketball is not played. I dug into the DIA budgets from the past five years, applying and receiving a Freedom of Information Act request to get a better idea of the dollars and cents of it all. 363 pages help paint a picture of the financial outlook for Illinois athletics. And while history can't completely predict what's ahead in the midst of a 100-year pandemic, it certainly gives Whitman a better idea of how to balance the books. For now, we're going to avoid trying to make any knee-jerk reactions. We're going to continue to take this in a measured way, um, but we're going to avoid trying to overreact until we get a better sense of what uh, the rest of this year is going to look like. Whitman estimates the DIA already lost between two and four million during the 2020 fiscal year. Those totals won't be official until January. Now it's all about mitigating losses going forward, and the majority of that hangs in the balance of when or if football is played. From 2015 to 2019, football accounted for $35 million in ticket sales, at another 104 2 million in Big Ten media rights, plus the bowl distributions, and the average football season in that time was worth an average of $36.74 million in those three categories alone. That's why playing games is so important in terms of the bottom line. It won't happen in the way that we expected it might in terms of a, of a fall season. Uh, there's still, I think, a strong possibility that we're going to be able to, to play football this year and hopefully do it in a, in a meaningful way that uh, creates great interest from our fans and from the public. If we're able to do that, then I think we'll be in a stronger position financially than, than maybe we expect. There is no way to make up ticket sales if games aren't played, but certain expenses also won't be paid. During the 2018 season, Illinois football spent $1.19 million in team travel, $1.3 in game expenses, and $1.9 in guarantees to opposing teams, totaling more than $4 million. <laughs> Men's basketball is the second biggest revenue generator for Illinois, bringing in $5.2 million in ticket sales in fiscal year 2019. Overall, the sport netted more than $11 million for the DIA that year. Whitman says he has a list of available cost-cutting options, prioritizing them into the amount of money saved versus the impact it would have. It's not a straightforward analysis. Sometimes the line isn't, isn't, isn't uh, direct from one point to the next, but trying to find the intersection between those two considerations and you know, always looking to best we can minimize the impact on our student athletes and on their experience but also recognizing that at some point some of these changes will have impact on that experience dia has downsized as a result cutting more than a dozen positions and not filling several more resulting in two plus million in savings over two years operational changes should save an additional three to four million. Whitman has also taken a 15% pay cut for the next year with his executive staff trimming 7%. Lovey Smith and Brad Underwood both agreed to voluntary 10% pay cuts for six months. And this is just the start. There is a lot more to come here and way more uncertainty. And that's the thing that really is unnerving about it for Josh Whitman and his staff. They really don't know what's ahead. No, no one does. All right.